this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to find out if the RX your customer has will fit in the combo package. In order to do so, we would have to basically put in the test order so we can view the range. So this hit order entry. This is going to be a test, so you can always type in test if you want. It requires a, some form of order reference. I'm going to click combo. We're going to type in just a, a trial RX. If you wanted a progressive, you need to type in some form of add, and then you would go to the library frame. A list of frames will come up. You select the frame that you're interested in putting lenses in. And this one, it's, a, it's going to be the Carlos. So you click on that. Take a look at the picture to make sure that this is the frame that you're looking at. You can enlarge the picture to further ensure that this is the frame that you're looking at. Once it is, you hit use selected frame. And then you click here. Your lens options will come up. This is going to be a polarized Nova PAL. You click view ranges at the bottom. And a grid. Your grid will pop up here. Select view grid. Your grid, your grid will come up. Um, most of the time, we, we like to look at this in minus cylinder because the prescriptions most likely will be in minus cylinder. You hit that button, hit enter, and it changes to minus cylinder. So if your powers uh, for, your, uh, for your customer falls within the grid, it's doable. If it falls outside of the grid, it is not. So that gives you a clear indicator of what you can do and what you can't do with this particular frame. There's a grid for every single frame um, in the catalog that pops up. So if you think that the RX that you have is on the border of one of these um, grids, you have to pull up the grid to ensure that it will fit before telling the customer or patient that it will. I hope that clarifies how to figure out if the RX will fit in a particular combo frame.